let's write our next python program uh, write a program to find out whether the given number is an armstrong's number armstrong's numbers are those which can be expressed as the sum of each of the digit raised to the power of number of digits so if we are given 153 we have to take the the number of digits is 3 so we have to take each digit raised to that power so 1 to the power of 3 plus 5 to the power of 3 plus 3 to the power of 3 similarly in 9474 we have 4 digits so 9 to the power of this should be 4 4 to the power of 4 7 to the power of 4 and 4 to the power of 4 sum of all these should be again equal to 9474 so such numbers are called Armstrong's number. So let's see. Let's define a function is Armstrong. A R M Armstrong and a number is going to be provided. Okay, this function. Okay, so let's say num that number we will store it in another variable. Let's say number of digits we have to figure out now is equal to uh, let's say zero to begin with now to figure out the number of digits that there are let's keep dividing it by 10 till num becomes zero till num is not equal to zero okay now number of digits plus equal to one num is equal to the integer of num by 10 so we divide it by 10 we will get a fract uh, you know decimal uh, single decimal place if we take the int part of it that one digit will disappear and that num will again be used to evaluate so as we go through this loop the number of digits keeps getting incremented till it becomes zero till num becomes zero so at the end of this loop we will know how many digits are there okay now let's say a sum equal to zero and now remember num has become zero now so let's again initialize it to number again we will use a loop while num is not equal to zero digit is equal to num mod 10 that is if we divide it by 10 whatever is the remainder that will be the digit okay so a sum is equal to plus equal to because we have to accumulate this total okay power of power of digit comma number of digits okay now let's say num is equal to now we have to remove the digit so num is equal to int of num by 10 so again one digit will disappear now and that num will again be used so the next digit will be picked up and it will be raised to the power of number of digits okay and now we will say if a sum is equal to the number itself that was passed to it then we say return is a armstrong's numbers return not an armstrong's number here we have to put a colon see ideally we should not do something like this which should we should return true or false because uh, this particular function that we have written may be reused in some other context and in that context we may not require the strings there we might be doing something else so it's better to return true or false but i just wanted to show you the way of doing this one way of doing this okay now let's define the main function n is equal to int of int conversion of input enter a number this enter a number 
the num entered number will be uh, returned as a string that will be converted into int. Okay, now we print a formatted output. The number n is and is Armstrong. And we pass that n. And now let's call this main function. Any errors? No. Now let's run this. Let's go to edit configuration and see. This is pointing to a different Armstrong's number. And now let's run this. Two examples have already been given here. So let's give 153. Number 153 is an Armstrong's number. Let's run it again. And 9474 is an Armstrong's number. Let's run it again. Now let's give 453 or 4 is not an Armstrong's number. So that is figuring out whether a number is an Armstrong's number. That's it. Bye.